This week's Inside Oswego Speedway brings you highlights from King of Wing 6 last Saturday, July 12th. At Oswego Speedway, the Pathfinder Bank Small Block Super Series would take on the Steel Palace for 35 laps with Alex Hogue in the 73 and Danny Apt in 57 starting on row number one. John Tesserario tucking into third in the 47. That's Anthony Lacerdo in the one machine moving up a little bit further there into corner number three as Dalton Doyle works to the inside of the 93 of J.J. Andrews. Hogue in the 73 would be dominant in this event, pulling away in the early going, leaving the battle for second between Apt, Tesserario, and Lacerdo, second, third, and fourth, and they would stay bumper to bumper through nearly the entire 35 laps of this one as they pull to the outside and put a lap on the number 28 of Shad Gates coming out of corner number four, continuing to try and chase down race leader Hogue, who would continue to pull away. As they move down into corner number one, Tessarario would get a big run this time out of that second corner, trying to make a move to the low side in corner number three, but wisely slams on the brakes, nearly spins himself out to avoid contact with his teammate Apt in car number 57. While they ran single file up front, Andrew Shartner, your series point leader in the number 18 machine, started all the way back in position number 18 and was slowly working his way inside the top 10. Later on, caution lights would come on for contact between the 93 of J.J. Andrews and the 01 of Dalton Doyle as Mike Bruce and Matt Magner get caught in there as well. You get a look at the replay as the 01 of Doyle goes around with the 22 of Bruce and the two of Magner being collected in further behind. On the restart, Hogue again pulling away. Tessarario continues to try for that second position into corner number three, but again had to back out in the number 47 as you see Shartner now working up into the top five. But up in front, it was all Alex Hogue from start to finish in the National Parts Peddler newspaper car number 73. But look just behind. Finally, Tessarario able to move to second. Anthony Lacerdo slides into third, dropping Ap to fourth. Andrew Shartner would round out the top five ahead of J.J. Andrews, Camden Proud, Craig Harris, Barry Kingsley, and Rob Pullen rounding out the top 10 as Hogue pulls into Turning Stone Resort Casino Victory Lane, joining his father Dean Hogue and Dutch Hogue on the win list at Oswego Speedway. My dad is probably the smartest guy to ever work on a limited super. And uh, you know, he did a really well job with his career and now I'm fortunate enough to get to drive it. But uh, just it's me, my dad, my in-laws and my wife. That's all we've got, and these little ones here, and it, man, I couldn't believe it. You know, this is Oswego, right? You know, I grew up in turn one grandstands, and I dreamt about this victory lane for a long time. Ah, uh, enough was enough. I was all over Danny all night. Um, I was trying everything I could to get by him. Didn't want to push it too hard being my teammate. I, at the end, I said, enough's enough. I got to go for this. But it was too little, too late. Um, you know, I thought I might have been able to have something for Alex. You'll never know now, but... Happy with a second. I got to thank all my, you know, my fans, my sponsors, Canal Insurance, Woodchuck Saloon, my crew, Bob, everybody here. Um, it's just been, it's been an up and down year, but it's nice to be back up front again. Well, we were overheating real bad. I don't know whether the fan quit or we were just so tight racing I wasn't getting in the air to my car. And I got her cooled down to about 2:30, so I just went for it. I saw John was under him almost every lap coming out of two and coming out of four, so he finally got it to stick, and I just followed him through. Central New York's fastest action continues in the month of July. Oswego Speedway, home of the Super Modified. Saturday, July 19th, it's the Speedway Summer Championship. Presented by Seas Beverage Center and Crop Production Services. It's the fastest field of Novella Super Modifieds in history. Watch the meanest machines on the planet, the only track you can see. For more information, visit online at OswegoSpeedway.com. Oswego Speedway Summer Championship. Saturday, July 19th, kids 16 and under free. The 6th annual Isma Super Modified King of Wings main event was, of course, the highlight of Saturday night's racing at Oswego Speedway, and it was Dan Bowes in car number 25 and Ben Seitz in the 17, bringing the field to green on Saturday with Jeff Locke in the 37 and Chris Purley right there in row number 2. And right from the start, Seitz on the outside of row number 1 would move into the race lead, bringing Purley along with him in the number 11 machine. Believe it or not, Purley, a multiple-time feature winner in Oswego Speedway, never has won the King of Wings Championship at the Speedway, and he did his best to do so on Saturday night, chasing Seitz for the race lead here early on. Further back, Locke in the Locke Crane Services, number 37, dives to the low side of Bose to take over position number 3 as Mike Lichty and Dave Schulich Jr., begin to work their way through the field from deep in the pack. Early on, caution would wave for the 7 of Otto Sitterly, driving the Schulich backup car, the 70 of Dave McKnight, the 61 of Lou Ciccone, 
and the 65 of Tim Ice, as well as the 51 of Dave Duggan up there in corner number four. The restart would see Schulich pull to the inside of Bowes in the corner number one, continuing to work his way through the field as you see the 84 of Lipty trying to keep pace as well, working around the outside of his teammate Rob Summers down into corner number three with Sites continuing to run up front. Hurley would eventually make the low side move in corner number three in lap traffic. Working the 51 of Dave Duggan out of corner number four. Pearlie would be the new race leader with Sites running in second. Locke in third, and there is Schulich in the number 95. Another caution would bring up a restart here about midway through the event, and Schulich in the 95 once again finding the outside of the speedway, darting around Sites into the runner-up spot to begin his chase for Pearlie and the race lead as you see Lichty and the 79 of John McKennedy beginning the battle down the back straightaway. Lichty now in the 84 working up into the top five trying to pick up a fourth consecutive Isma super modified victory at Oswego Speedway as well as back-to-back -back King of Wings titles. As he moves into that spot now pulling up behind the 37 of Jeff Locke. Later on, Schulich would find the low lane in corner number one, trying to dart underneath the 11 of Pearlie. He would make it stick out of corner number two, going to the low side, then moving right to the top side on the lap car, the 87 of Keith Gilliam. Lichty would continue to move his way through the field as well, pulling to the low side of the 17 of Ben Seitz to move up into position at number three, but he had quite a ways to go to try and chase down your race leader, Dave Schulich and Chris Purley. Race's final lap, Schulich well on his way to victory. His first victory at Oswego Speedway since 2008 and his first King of Wings title. Coming over Purley in second, Lichty in that third spot. Jeff Locke finished in fourth with Seitz rounding out the top five. Budweiser International Classic guaranteed starters John McKennedy and Rob Summers would finish sixth and seventh with Otto Sitterly rebounding for an eighth place finish ahead of Dan Bowes and Ryan Conium as Dave Schulich Jr. just his second race behind the wheel of the number 95 Bodner built machine would visit Turning Stone Resort Casino Victory Lane at Oswego. This car is unbelievable. Second night on it. We've only ran it one other time and uh, from the get go it was one bad machine. Uh, Thank the whole crew for everything they do. Lily for the hand signals on the back stretch. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Mike Lake, they got my fire lit, and uh, tonight they just got frozen. This is awesome. I can uh, the first five nights, first five Kanga Wings, we never, I never even raced in, and uh, to win this race, pretty awesome. Uh, Swago Speedway for putting on a hell of a show, and all the fans for coming out. Uh, just, a, just an awesome weekend. Uh, pretty difficult. Um... Without the passing flag, Isma doesn't use it. It makes it difficult, but everybody's in the same boat, so it kind of all works out in the wash. Um, yeah, we had a decent car tonight. Uh, we've been really playing with us, scratching our heads. Uh, I think I had a really good second place car tonight. I think uh, DJ <laughs> ran away from me and hid, and uh, his car's on rails, and uh, we'll figure out what to do. He was catching me, now I'm gonna catch him. Well, we were just off all day, to be honest with you. The track, uh, I don't know if it's the track or the car or what, but as soon as we got off the trailer, it was just, Real, real loose compared to what it usually is. And it showed in time trials in the heat race too. And um, I had a feeling it was gonna go this way for, uh, for the feature and we just, um, we just didn't make the proper, uh, proper adjustments. And uh, you know, I, I don't get an issue starting 10th, man. I'd love to start 12th every week because that means uh, you're winning and it's fun passing race cars and, uh, and racing like that. But uh, hey, it shows that the, uh, the fastest car tonight won and uh, we're fine with that. We'll continue on and uh, just like to thank everybody at uh, Reed Salvage and Paco Transportation, Craig Reed, my father, uh, everybody that uh, puts effort into this deal, Dickie, Ryan, uh, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. My girlfriend, Raven, uh, it's a top-notch team and it shows. To run third, uh, obviously a little disappointed, but we'll take it.